Get your St. Louis MMA fix at knuckledunkies.com. Knuckledunkies.com here with uh, Victoria Sam Tamayo. Uh, qu- quick workout with the first uh, round of the knockout. Just kind of talk about the fight. Um, well, definitely coming into the fight, I was training very hard. I was uh, wanting to showcase more skill, but once I got in there, I kind of just let instinct take over, and I did what I did and came out with W. So I got an our fight August 16th, Battle of the Beach, my hometown. And I'm thinking after that, I'm, I'm leaving in Lincoln College on a wrestling scholarship and going out there winning national titles. Here at Rumble Time Revenge with uh, Jordan Downey. Jordan, a nice uh, first round victory over Tim Mann. Kind of tell us a little bit about it. Well, we went in there and I knew he was going to throw some hard punches. Typically, an overhand right is what he does. And I trained to protect myself for that. I still got hit with one. And then whenever he loaded up another one, I, he was in close. So I just clenched and took it to the ground. And from there, I just felt my strengths take over. And I pulled myself into a mount. He rolled and I took his back. And I just, I really don't like to give space when I get ahead like that. When I get ahead, I like to stay ahead. And I have all the respect in the world for Tim. So I, I trained real hard for this one. And I was expecting, you know, a real big hard fight. Yeah. But I was going to take the first way out I could. and and it presented itself there. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like uh, when, once you got it to the floor, I mean, you were really uh, deliberate and confident and uh, went through the whole process to finish it out. Yeah, I mean, that's how I train. Train to be uncomfortable positions and be comfortable in them. I train six days a week. I train like a pro to be an Ami. And I mean, this is just what I want to do. I want to push myself harder than anybody else. And this is just the competition part for me just drives me. I get up every day wondering what the other guy's doing. So the fact that I knew Tim was coming in and he's really one of the other names around here, not, there's not a lot of people that want to fight all of a sudden, it seems. so. And Tim stepped up, and I have much respect for him for doing that because he's fighting the same battle as me. Nobody really seems to want to fight us. Uh-huh. So we're going to go from there, and uh, the next thing I'm going to probably try, I'm going to try and cut to 175, and we're going to see if I can get to 170 and feel good. And, I mean, how dialed in or how, I mean, how important was this uh, fight for you? Very important. Coming off of the last time I was at the Ameristar when I just – I wasn't healthy. I needed to get that one back. What happened last time? Uh, I don't believe in excuses. Yeah. There was some health issues going on a couple years ago around this time, and it is what it is. It was a learning experience, and I'm better for it. So, I mean, uh, quick work, and you're turning around and uh, cornering a teammate right after your fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Sam is a good kid. He's he's helped my wrestling so much. Uh, just a Granite City boy, and he comes in, and he's pushed me. He'll, He'll show me stuff. He's younger than me, but he'll push me. He's a real good, strong kid, and it was good to see him get a quick win, and I'm not surprised by it. That hook he hit him with to finish that fight, I've been hit with that hook. It's not fun. I didn't, I'm not look, I wasn't looking past him. Yeah. They told me there was other stuff possibly coming up, but I, was, I, don't want, I didn't want to hear about it until right. this one was over because right. this was a challenge that had to be met first. Well, uh, welcome back, Travis Draper. Uh, after about a little over a year from the cage uh, here at Rumble Time Revenge, uh, you come back with a uh, quick uh, first round uh, victory. Thoughts on the, on the fight? Um, I trained real hard for this. Um, I really thought it was going to be a three round fight. Um, I know the kid was real tough, so I literally just worked my buns off for the last you know month and a half, two months, and uh, all that ground and pound really paid off when I hit him with those hammers. Now, did you uh, did you land a pretty stiff uh, jab or punch? Kind of maybe broke his nose early. Um, I really don't know. Um, I was real confident in my stand-up. I thought it was going to be a stand-up fight. Um, I thought I was going to, you know, keep it at range. Um, I don't know what happened. You know, he kind of shot in. Um, I don't think I did, though. I think it was definitely the hammer fist that got him. I don't think I landed anything too clean um, standing up. I definitely think the kicks didn't. He didn't like those. But uh, other than that, it was definitely the, that ground and pound that he didn't like that very much. Uh, being, being with us so long since you've uh, fought, I mean, would you like to have gotten more uh, more time in, or are you just <laughs> glad to get in and get no, out the win? I, actually, I was very, very bummed. Um, I don't know, I kind of had like that sick feeling in my stomach there uh, when the fight was over because I was ready to fight three rounds. Um, and I felt real positive in myself because uh, normally I'm real overzealous when I first get somebody down like that, and I really waited patiently before I had the opening two strike, and it definitely paid off. Uh, like you kind of mentioned, you know, supposedly this last month you've really kind of ratcheted up the training, which is maybe something you haven't really uh, done much of in the past. Just kind of talk about uh, showing a little more dedication or what's kind of motivated that. Um, I don't know, man. I just finally decided one day to kick my butt in gear again. Um, definitely, uh, it just, I don't know, it stepped it up to a whole new level, especially uh, just, man, six days a week and working. Yeah. Just hustling like I should be. So a uh, quick fight means uh, you can maybe get, get, try to get something else uh, definitely before any, at the end of the year? Or? Yes, definitely. There's a couple guys out there I wouldn't mind fighting. Um, names? Yeah, definitely. If Buddy McGinnis wants to fight August 30th, that would be much appreciated, man. If you're listening or watching, whatever, yeah. you know, I would definitely like a fight.
Get your St. Louis MMA fix at knuckledogies.com.